to where we are today, I don't know if I could be more pleased. You know, he's um, really operating at a high level. I think he's got a, a real sense of confidence about him, but yet there's a there's a chip on his shoulder, and he's really hungry, and he wants to get better, and he wants to play at such a high level that, that it, it, it rubs off on his teammates. And, that's exactly what you want. You know, you've got a, a fifth-year senior quarterback who works as hard as Cody works, and that sends a great message to the rest of the football team. And with, the, with that, Cody was talking about some of the hype and you know, kind of just wor worrying about just football. You know, how, how do you address some of that? Oh, how we addressed it today with the team is we don't play a football game for six months, and the, the, the key for us is to focus on today and how are we getting better today individually, how are we getting better today as a team. Uh, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, all the aspects that go into it. And hype, the game, training camp, all that stuff is so far down the road. We, we can't worry about that stuff. We, we needed to focus on today. And I thought all in all as a team, for the most part, we really did a good job of that. What goals did you establish with your guys, things that at the end of these spring practices after the spring game you want to walk away and say, hey, we did this, we got better at that? Well, there, there's always nuances within schemes that we're going to look at that, that we want to improve upon. Um, you know, uh, you know, obviously, we're replacing some, some key players. Um, uh, with, with Leonard being gone, with Hayes being gone, with Buck being gone, uh, with Nelson being gone, I mean, some real, J.R. Tobias, some really critical guys that we need to start to figure out who's going to fill those spots, who's going to fill those roles. And then ultimately, our ability to finish. And you know, we're going to have a challenge at the end of every practice that, that, that really is going to exemplify the final two minutes of every game. And who can we count on? Who's going to be those guys that can make those plays at the most critical moments? And uh, the defense came out today. It was a best of five. And the defense won the first three plays and got off the field and, and won the game. So hopefully that that idea of our ability to not only just be excited to take the field at the beginning of practice, but be at our best at the most critical moment at the end of practice. And that's something we're going to continue to work on. Is that something that you implemented as a result of some of the late game struggles? Without a doubt. Season? Without a doubt. You know, you, you, as, a, as a staff, and as a head coach, you, you, you analyze every aspect of your program. And, you know, I, I look at a couple of really tough losses at the end of games on the last play of the game that had a huge impact on our season. I mean, we win those two games, we're playing for a conference championship. Um, and, and so you, you think about the ramifications of that, of course we're gonna address that and then we have to get better at it. It's early, but what have you seen from Trey Madden and his recovery? I think Trey's great. You know, what I forgot about Trey is how big and physical he is. You know, he's, a, he, he's lower half, he's really put together, he's a physical runner. I think he and Justin complement each other really well because Justin has got such great speed and cutting ability, and then Trey's got such of a hammer mentality. I think they're gonna be a great complement to one another. Um, and then I forgot as well with Trey, he's got a very high football IQ, his quarterback background from high school, and his ability to catch the ball. So all in all for Trey, first day back, th there's always gonna be some natural hesitation there. Um, but but he looked pretty good to me. Where was Bryce Dixon today? Uh, Bryce is dealing with a student conduct issue. Um, how was the, the new guys that are Isaac Whitney down, yeah. how have they been doing? Well, I mean it's day one. <laughs> you know, how it's, do they do yeah, it's hard to it's hard to nail that. I thought for the most part, those five guys, Isaac, uh, Roy, Chuma, Ricky, Cam Smith. They kind of just got into the flow of practice, which is about it, is all you can really expect them to do in day one. They, they didn't, it didn't look too big for them. I thought they flashed in some areas. You know, Ricky made a couple throws. I thought Schumer had a couple really nice pass sets. Isaac made a couple plays down the field. Then they had their moments where they made it, didn't know the play as well as they would have liked and whatnot. But all in all, first college practice for those five guys uh, is about as good as it could go. Do you have any further no, no, I don't. Not at this point. See that look okay, Anthony Saro really didn't do much. Yeah, today. Anthony's got a, a foot I'm gonna just call it a foot injury for right now. We don't okay. know all of the specifics yet and so we're we're being really cautious with it. Um, and so that was the reason we, we held him out. Lamar looks like he's yeah, trying to come you know, back. I, I guess if I could 
you know, point out just a couple things that really stood out to me. Lamar was one of them. He, he seemed like a different player to me than what I had seen all of last year from spring ball into, into training camp and into the season. He looks really confident. He's moving really sudden. Um, he's, and, and we knew he had a good off-season conditioning program, you know, the winter conditioning. Um, and he came out today and, and looked like just a, really a different player. I, I, was, I was really encouraged by that. Uh, that, that, ju that jumped out to me. Notice Chris Hawkins was playing a lot of safety yeah. today. Is that a long-term thing? Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dig into it here for a little while. We're, we have to give him a chance to kind of go through some of the growing pains there. You know, we we, we tinkered with it a little in bull prep, and then it really wasn't fair to throw him into a game doing that stuff. So we're gonna give him a chance to kind of go through some of the growing pains at the position. You know, Chris's strength is his football IQ. He really gets the game, um, and we think him at safety that that's gonna play to his strength even more. How about Steven Mitchell, what do you yeah, say? Yeah, Steven is another guy who had a really good winter conditioning. Um, he's put on about 10 pounds. He looks strong. Um, made, again, quite a bit of plays today. Uh, we're going to look at him some on Thursday as an outside receiver. He played pretty much exclusively in the slot today. We're going to give him some shots outside Thursday. Um, Adoree will play offense on Thursday. He played defense today. He'll play offense Thursday, so that'll give Steven an opportunity to get outside a little bit more. How do you feel like your offensive lines meshed with Bob these last couple of weeks? I think it's been really good. You know, Max is an awesome leader. You know, when your center is it played as much football as Max has played, and um, probably the benefit of it is Max is on his fourth offensive line coach in four years. You know, so uh, he's able to to really be a, a really to give a, a good perspective to the younger guys of accepting a new coach, and you, you just don't have time to to kind of wonder you, you just here we go you know it's a new coach the schemes haven't changed the system hasn't changed let's let's get moving with it and I think they've done really well I, I'm excited about our offensive line I really am I mean the depth that we have there um, is as good as I've seen here and anywhere I've been in, in a long time and um, from our younger players to the vets to guys coming off of injury uh, you look I mean Jordan Simmons today uh, Jordan Austin you know, Nico Falla, I thought looked really good today. He's another guy who had a good winter conditioning, uh, you know, program and came out. He's looked as good as I've seen him. So, a lot of positives uh, up front. How about Damian about? Mama? It looked like he dropped a few pounds. Yeah, Damian's in great shape. Um, he's lost some weight. He looks quick. Um, he's still a very big human being, and when he gets his hands on, he's got huge hands. Uh, he, he, you know, he kind of latches on. It's tough to get off his blocks, but I just think the confidence with Damien, you lose some weight, you played some football, you become more confident. Same with Viani, uh, Toa. Um, you know, that, that group's going to be good. I don't think just next year. I think for a while. I mean, that group's going to be really good for us. One more question, guys. With Wheeler being out for a while, will Toa you know, pretty much be playing to that left tackle? I think so. I think that that's what we'll do. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're playing Nico over there as well. I mean, in Nico, like I said, looked really good. So we'll tinker with that some. Um, you know, I, I want to give Chuma a chance to kind of just develop at right tackle here for a little while. I, I think back to Winston Justice. When Winston first came on board, we started him out at right tackle his first year and then moved him over. Um, so we'll, we'll see how Chuma does. But, but all in all, I, we've just got good depth, you know, and so we're able to do that. But then we're also able to move some guys around to experiment with some things because – the guy that's the number two isn't much different than the guy that's the number one right now, which is a real luxury that we have. Thanks, Coach. You got